Hi everyone, it's Rosella. Um, I know I'm a bit late to the party here, but I've been wanting to talk to you guys about the Prima Warehouse box and what I thought of it. Um, and especially in comparison to the Graphic 45 since, oh sorry, not Graphic 45, Webster's Pages. I always get those two confused. Since I did get both boxes this year. Um, oh, hang on one second, I need to grab something. Okay, so I have not gone to use any of my box yet. But let me show you this. This is the contents of my box. Okay, I'm going to zoom out even a bit there. Okay, you can see that is a. I'm trying to see where this is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so you can't even see. Hold on. I'm going to show you because the, there's more down here at the front of the table, too. Oh, I can't do this without jerking the camera around. Hang on a second. Let me see. See? there okay um so this was $45 plus shipping and I have to say I will be buying the next time they have a warehouse sale not only that I will in fact get two or three because I thought this is, was an absolutely amazing value and the biggest difference that I saw between this and the Webster's pages was that I felt like with Webster's pages that it tends to be things that people didn't really want or didn't like. And if you watch my other video, I do have a video about my box from Webster's pages. I got one a couple years ago, I got one this year, and they were really similar. They were different lines, but it was all the same kinds of products. And to me, it, a lot of them were things that I didn't see anybody else use or have or whatever. And I think it was, oh, these are our sort of product lines that we couldn't do anything with they don't sell and that it was the same thing that just didn't sell um, and so there's some good stuff in there and it's definitely worth it was worth the money and that one was less I think I want to say that one was 35 but I'm really not sure but I'll try to remember to put the link to my other video below so this one was 45 plus shipping it came priority mail medium flat rate box so what that was shipping around I want to say around eleven fifty or something. I can't remember the exact price offhand. But for that, I got this amazing selection. Um, another thing I felt with the with the Prima was that there was better co cohesion, like um, between the things that they went together a bit better. Um, but down here in this corner, I have all the sort of trinkets and charms that I got and. What's weird here is that most of these I've never even seen. Now, I don't have a scrappy store anywhere near me that stocks Prima, but I mean, these are gorgeous. This is not like second rate, you know, stuff to me. This is beautiful. I've never seen them, and I love them. I have two packages of those, two different packages. These, I love these. I think these are fantastic. Um, with the, um, this one says a door with the bird on the um, branch underneath it. Now all the birds are the same, but I also have one that says love and one that says something that I can't read. Sweet. They're gorgeous. They're, they're gorgeous. We have more of the trinkets. They're just darling. Those are beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I have some leaves. Okay, you know, those are eh, whatever. <laughs> fine I use them I um, mean that's the you know the least my least favorite thing of this category and these really cute pins adorable so you know that's just the trinkets part right I have two entire t packs of journaling cards and the difference with this is that to um, the graphic 45 is that I far prefer the collections so what's this one en français um, I mean they're they're just lovely. They're so, um, just, they're much more like the kinds of things that I like to use, you know. This one, actually, I think the other one's my favorite, but, I mean, they're really nice. They're not, they're, they're just good. I have no complaints about it. These ones, Meadowlark, they are beautiful colors and, um, you know, just really, really nice. Not something, again, that I feel like, eh, eh, whatever. You know? Okay. There was chipboard. Now, this is the, oh, what's this 
collection called can't remember I'll figure it out eventually this is not my favorite simply because there's something about this type of um, illustration that I don't like very much I can't explain it but still I mean it is good stuff um, movie tickets wooden movie tickets now these are, can I tell what collection these are from? It's really weird. A lot of times they don't seem to have the collection name on there. But um, they are really pretty. Really pretty. I got two sets of, of pegs. I got two of these which contain um, wood letters and journaling cards. I got tiles. Now this actually I think is from that same collection as this. And I may actually go, I may gift these, we'll see. Bling, two blings that are just gorgeous. These ones with the little tiny resin flowers, I think are absolutely fabulous. This one's cute. It, I don't, I don't understand. This does not look prima at all to me with the little chicks, but it's nice. We have two stencils. I'm not a big stencil person. I may or may not keep those. Um, Flocked Rebons. I haven't had Flocked Rebons for several years. I really liked them when I used them before. Alphas. Holy guacamole. Do we have Alphas? We have one. We have two. We have three. We have four sets of Alphas. They're all double-sided. Um, like around 600 pieces per set. And you know, these can work. There's a good variety of colors. You can pretty much use it with, you know, whatever you are whatever prima paper you want to work with or other brands these antique mirrors never seen them but i think they're very cool they are i guess like um oh golly they're acrylics but and they have the design but then they're partially see-through and they're partially kind of look mirrored but two completely different sets i'm excited to try those i've never seen them um the paper is just gorgeous of course it's two-sided so I'm um, really happy about that I think I got two collections it was Romantique and Londonderry oh Londonderry I think is the one I'm not as keen on um, but I mean it was like 10 and 12 sheets I think one of the you know 10 and 1 12 of the others um, oh there's another button the flowers and the um, butterflies were the things that really like put me over the top here I mean okay those are you know they're cute I don't I'm not so keen on these ones here but the plain ones love them gorgeous these butterflies are beautiful you know this is stuff that I don't ever buy because I'm too cheap basically because I look at it I look at the prices and I go this is ridiculous I'm not gonna pay like five bucks for a pack of flowers um those pretty oh I love these gorgeous I think these are exquisite they're tiny well they're not tiny they're very small they have like glitter on them they're beautiful um butterfly and a flower more flowers do you see a theme here we have flowers we have flowers we have butterflies these are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I bet this was just not a popular color combination I happen to think it's really beautiful and a little and a couple more flowers here so I was interested I was like how much would this really cost they say it's like oh I can't remember three hundred dollars or something but I wanted to see okay that's like original retail if I was to try and go out and buy all this stuff about how much would it cost me and I looked on um, eBay primarily because I was trying to get the best price I could possibly get I must have been bored that day or something anyway my grand total pre-tax and everything else no shipping was none one ninety one eighty five and oh excuse me and that was for like getting stuff that from all over the place from all different people and I thought you know what that's pretty damn good um, and of course it's only a value if you actually like what you're getting but I think what you can see here is, yeah, of course these aren't like the the latest Prima products, but they are not bad. I'm telling you, this is not bad. So, yeah, I will be getting this again. Um, 
a thought too if you are um, I know sometimes for people overseas they don't get these boxes because the shipping rate that they are quoted by the company if they will send out overseas I I don't know if everybody does but the shipping rates that quoted are absolutely insane so I just want to say if you are you know one of my friends on here on YouTube or a subby or whatever and you want and this comes up next year and you want to get one of these um, talk to me if the shipping's too much talk to me because I may be able to get it to my house and they get it to you for less I have done this for people I'm happy to do it for people um, you know I don't I want don't want to make any money on it it's just I just would like to do it to help you to be able to enjoy the gloriousness oh there's me I didn't mean to show my face the gloriousness that is the Prima Web Prima Warehouse books so a big thumbs up to Prima and uh, hopefully next year's box will be just as awesome thanks for watching bye